Hey, Bub, remember that lady who worked at the driving range who used to run the deli? The deli in the driving range. That's right. In the food court portion. The lady who worked at the driving range deli inside the food court portion. Yeah. I have no idea who you're talking about. Nah, come on. Remember we used to make fun of her flock of seagulls hair and her Charles Nelson Riley glasses? I feel like it has like a Kathy vibe. Kathy. Oh, oh wait. I remember her now. Kathy. It's, uh, Patty. It's, uh, Annie. Claire. Claire. That's it. Uh, well, that wasn't at all a Kathy vibe. Mm. Well, Claire, Kathy, they both start with the letter C, right? <sighs> Yeah, but I was thinking of the one that starts with a K. Uh, well, what about her? She's dead. Oh, wow, that sucks. How'd she die? Uh, I feel like it starts with a B and ends with a, like a long vowel sound, like baby, but not baby. B, snake. Oh, uh, anaplastic astrocytoma? Bingo. Man, what's up with my memory? It sounds like it's still there, but it's just... Stupider. Stupider, yeah. So is this what happens with age? We eventually only remember one letter of every sentence? Right, right. Maybe that's why you don't see a ton of 90-year-old chatterboxes walking around. Right. Because they can speak entire conversations in three letters. Maybe that's what dementia is. Just like a really complicated shorthand we haven't figured out yet. Uh. Peppered in with rubbing your own shit on the walls every once in a while. Well, hey, my grandfather only ever said two words to me my entire life. Really? Yep. On his deathbed, he said, Goodbye. Well, that's the weirdest thing I've ever heard. It was pretty weird, yeah. And there were a bunch of people in the room at the time, but he only said it to me. But how do you know that? Yeah, because he said, Bobby, goodbye. Hmm. Well, that's three words, not two, no? Hmm. Well, you're right. I guess it was three. Hey, all of a sudden your grandfather talked to you 50% more than you thought he did. <laughs> yeah, just like that, huh? Lucky me. It doesn't really make it any less weird, though. If anything, it's even weirder. Like, why you? Right. Goodbye. Just to you, Bob. Who I never spoke to once until now. See you later. Although I guess it would have been even weirder if he had said, Hello. Oh, yeah, right before kicking rocks? That would have been bananas. But I guess if he had said hello, I would have then assumed he wasn't talking to me, you know? Right. Like maybe he was greeting whoever... Who was in the next life, who now had to put up with this pipe-smoking curmudgeon asshole? Exactly. Hmm. But I mean, what, so we're born into the next life already able to speak and complain and shit? Yeah, who knows? Maybe our brains continue on. Hmm. So, like, we bring our brains? We bring our brains. So in the next life, everybody's an old soul. Right. Everybody's watching Spencer Tracy movies, doing the fucking Charleston every second. Saying shit like 23 skidoo and looking at your pocket watch like a dildo. Right, right. I mean, either that or there's nothing and we're just maggot food here for a minute and then that's it. Uh, we might be better off that way, actually. The Charleston was really stupid looking. <laughs> Facts. So how long did you know him? My grandfather? Oh, since I was an egg. I think he even sat on me when I was an egg a few times, babysitting, you know? Right, but I mean, like, how long ago did he die? Hmm, let's see. He ignored me at my first communion, didn't acknowledge me throughout the entirety of high school. About four months ago, I'd say. Four months ago? You knew him your entire life up until four months ago, and he only said Bobby goodbye to you once? Mm -hmm. On his deathbed, yes. Oh, birdie buddy. Eh, it's okay. If nothing else, it was polite. Right. He was always polite. I'll give him that. That, I will give him. Well, not to you. He didn't even acknowledge you. Yeah, but I mean, he wasn't rude about it. Okay. It was actually pretty impressive how effortless it was for him. There was almost like a purity to it, like performance art or something. Hmm. He was very, very talented. At ignoring you. Uh, oh, you're a lunatic. Whatever. I bet if you'd asked my grandfather, he would have said otherwise. Yeah, he would have been like, who the fuck are you talking about? No, no, no. See, that's the thing. I got birthday cards from him every year with $20 bills shoved into him and shit. Really? Yeah, yeah. I, I was totally his grandson on paper. Wow. Yeah, yeah. He knew of me. He knew of me. Right. And would you ever try and thank him for the cards? Well, of course. And? Mm, somebody close the window. There's a draft in here. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. And the wind is whistling something stupid. Wow. He was very gifted. I'm so sorry, Bobby. Eh, don't sweat it, Bug. The joke's on him, because he's the one that's dead. Uh, okay. And he said goodbye, not hello. So even his brain is dead. Okay. Okay. His brain is dead. Bob. My brain's alive. Oh, Bobby. Oh, my nose is bleeding. <laughs> well, that's the weirdest thing I've ever heard.